Now they do say that the eyes of a car are the headlights, so that's why designers have to make them so attractive. These are the shots of the lights of a lovely new two-seater concept. Our French friends Renault have revealed this concept called the wind. The press release boasts flowing lines and the dynamism of chamfered contours. I don't know about that, but there are two defining design lines to me. The first goes along the sides, curving into the front and rear wings and sweeping round the wheel arches. The second line envelops the cabin, so the design seems to make it look very cosy inside for the driver. And that driver is cocooned in leather. Sitting on pleated leather seats, the driver has in front of him a circular, centrally mounted control panel, where simplicity and ergonomics have taken priority. Wouldn't you love to get your feet on these shiny pedals? We caught up with Patrick Lequemont, Renault's chief designer, to find out more about the delightful wind concept. As in all the uh, concept cars that uh, we have developed in the past, it's a, a one-off running model which demonstrates where we're going from a design standpoint. Well, as such, it is highly realistic. Uh, the, the, the dimensions are realistic. Uh, the way that um, it is uh, manufactured uh, could be made uh, without any major change. Uh, as all the concept cars that we, we have done in the past, there is always something that remains. In the case of this one, for sure, uh, the uh, stylistic evolution that we're showing, which is with more cursive lines, with uh, flowing lines, with full uh, surfaces, that's something which you will definitely see in future uh, Renaults. With regards to manufacturing the roadster, that is another question. The chief designer from Renault, Monsieur Patrick Le Quemont. I like the wind, how about you? I agree, it looks great, but so did the Renault Spider back in the late 90s, and that didn't exactly sell well. So you think this is going to stay a concept? Afraid so. After recent troubles with the axing of the Renault Avant team, they won't be getting their fingers burnt again in a hurry.